Well, folks, we're back out here at the tractor pulls at Hillsborough County Fair. We made some passes last night, had some issues. We're gonna roll the footage. We got here late. Our boys didn't show up with our ECM till super duper late. And needless to say, look at all the soot <laughs> underneath the hood here. Oh. But anyways, don't show them all that. We're gonna roll the footage from last night. You'll see what happened and then we'll explain everything. And we're gonna go find our old orange cab over that we sold to our buddy Brian Caparelli. It's here somewhere. We're gonna see what all he's done to it. But check out everything from last night. What a way to start a video other than business fit full of truck, fired up and running. Shout out to the guys from Minnesota, Lano Boosted on Instagram. They're just saying load on trailer, we're going truck pulling tonight. So we're underneath the truck now. We've got everything unloaded. We've made it to the fairgrounds. It's amazed getting in here, but we've got some airlines not in the right spot on our transmission. So I'm trying to look up a diagram. I'm a dummy when it comes to this. I've never really messed with 
changing airlines on the back of the thing, these things. So we gotta figure out which airline goes to what. And there's not very much service here right now, so we're gonna figure it out. Gunner here with me. He's got his ears covered. You're good, buddy. There's no more noise. He don't like loud noises, but uh, we got a surprise here at the pools. Ryan's at the end track filming, but look at the orange truck down there. You guys remember the old orange cab over. I'm super tired, so my bad, but uh, Brian Caprile, my buddy that I sold it to, has got a ton of stuff doing, done to it. We'll recap on all this tomorrow. Same video, though, but uh, we're going to see how he pulls tonight. You guys see when I pulled it. He's done a few things to it. We'll see what differences it does. So it looks like he's got the wheels polished up, maybe put some new stacks on it. Uh, I think he put some new airbags in it, fixed some leaks. He definitely did something to the top up there, got rid of that canvas top that was on it. Old cab over, there she goes. Last night, we were in a rush to get here. There's a lot of things we didn't get to check. We I, the, couldn't get the transmission to go from low to high. And normally I would pull in like high sixth gear, right? Um, well, it's kind of hard to explain, but high center against the dash. Um, but I didn't, you know, wasn't able to get it in high range, so I ran low gear and I forgot to in, like engage the airbags in the rear. It's just a terrible pass. But this thing, the thing we can be happy about is it was running full steam. And that was even sucking in all the soot. Dude, look at all the soot on this turbo. Shoot. So it was like an EGR running full tilt on this boy. Oh, 
Dude, we we're making power. Oh. Intercooler boot coming off. <laughs> we gotta fix that too. Holy cow, bro. Okay, so lots of things we need to figure out. We're gonna get the hood closed. We've got something here to fix that problem. We're gonna put that right there on the stack. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> uh oh. I don't know. We gotta figure some stuff out. Well, apparently we've got some hose clamp issues here, so we need to get this intercooler pipe put back on here. Man, my hands are gonna be so dirty from all this. But that boy is trying to blow out of there. That needs to be picked back up, tightened back down, cranked down. I feel like it's gonna blow off tonight. Oh, shoot. I just have a feeling it's gonna, it's gonna happen. I hope not, but. Right there has gotta be cranked. Too much. What the heck are you doing? So I'm bending this into an oval. It's gonna slide over our exhaust pipe. Maybe. Oh, it's so close. The only thing that worries me is like getting the hood to actually close. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so close. Shoot, we're on this mug with no hood on it. I don't care. <laughs> so much soot everywhere. Once we get it on, we'll be able to get it off. Oh, no. It ain't coming off. <laughs> I don't think the hood's going to close. It definitely ain't going to close. Oh! No, she ain't going to close. Nope. Not much, no. Nowhere near. Dang. Do you go down more? What I'm gonna do is tap it down. We'll find someone with a sawzall and cut it off right where it needs to be. Oh yeah. There it is. Our old Kenworth cabin we pulled out of a barn. Our buddy Brian has. Let's do a front to back and see what all he's done or maybe hasn't done. <sighs> he's done a lot. This thing pulled really great last night. Let's uh check it out. So it looks like he's got a brand new front bumper he put on it. Or no, that might be the original bumper. He just had someone polish it out, got some new front tires, polish the wheels, clean the tanks up a little bit, clean the fenders, polish the rear tires. He said something about he had to replace a lot of uh, air lines, so you can see some new fuel lines right there. Oh, it's got a fast fuel system underneath that bird. Dude, cleaned it up. Biggest thing I see is the new top right here. Got rid of that vinyl top that was up there. Oh, That's yeah. really nice, ain't it? That's really nice. Still got the old kitty cat in there. Um, he did get rid of like that front tractor flap, those on the front, put a different guillotine on there, some new stacks. I don't know if he cleaned up the inside. Right. No, nope, still the same. I was gonna, I don't remember that being, was it out there? I don't think so. Looks like he did a different seat and different, maybe it was, I don't remember. I don't remember either. I don't think it had that, I don't think it did. Got rid of the tractor flap that was there. I think he put a regular, like, uh, guillotine. Yeah, see the guillotine up in there on the turbo? Yep. So he's got the new guillotine in there. That's pretty much it. Brian said he kind of left it all alone. But, hey, let's roll the pull from last night. I think it ran pretty good, don't you? You know, why not? <laughs> Are you filming that? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Stand on other than keep stepping on the fender. I don't see anything though. Oh, yeah, she looks way more oblonged. We're going to smash that one back. Jeez. Open the hood.
Now if we like make it fit that, or if we get a sledgehammer, we'll be able to go cut it where we want it to be. And if our calculated risk, we'll be able to close the hood. Yes. I don't know how much to cut off of it, you know. Worst case, you just go little by little. Well, we're using a, a cutting, a, a grinder, not like a oh. wheel. tap it down to the very minimal to begin with and then uh, add to it if we have to. Alright, let's close the hood, see if she clears. If she don't, we'll go down a little bit more. I think it's going to be close. It'll be close. Dang! So freaking close. Oh. What the heck, dude? Boom! Boom, oh, money. It's sticking through the pipe. We're in good shape. What? Are Trying to fix this exhaust pipe. There you go. So we got our stack kind of lined up. Once we close the hood, and hopefully it'll hold for one pull, then we can build a new stack. Try to get a bigger hole stacked up there to put the stacks through, but I'm just kind of snug up all of our clamps everything got hot yesterday and retort make sure we're all good there the exhaust clamps were a little loose now that they're all tight we gotta find some different clamps to hold this hose on or really a different hose honestly might turn ryan loose and let him go back to the shop That's fine. well folks it's starting to sprinkle here so we may be doing all this for nothing but we went and robbed some clamps off of brutus and took and swapped the springs over and did some makeshift rigging Hoping that this is gonna work. About to find out though. Ah, Lee, it's starting to pick up, ain't it? Nice. Right, don't say the R word anymore today. I didn't say it. Oh yeah, those are work great. Why isn't this wanting to tighten down? Mm -hmm. So this is what. Uh, I don't feel like standing in the rain. There ain't no, no. way I'm doing that. Just uh, just, just sit in the car. Pieces. See what that's. Raining right there. Yeah. It is, yeah. Can't see it on camera. Right here, though. That's weird. Welcome to Florida. Pretty much. Walk 20 feet, rain. Walk 20 feet back, no rain. All right, so we've got these clamps completely tightened up. I think they're probably not going to come loose because I've kind of almost crossed the threads trying to tighten them all the way up, but pretty solid there on our boost pipe. Exhaust pipe's ready. This sprinkler, we're going to get out of the sprinkle, so hopefully it. The bottom will fall out of this thing and uh, we're getting soaking wet.
that thing was a monster. <laughs> it wasn't breaking up no more. Running. I think I picked a little too high of a gear or something. We gotta get a data logger, but I'm shaking. Dude, that was legit. I'm just so happy that we're not breaking up going down the track anymore. Thing hooked pretty solid. I think if I had more RPMs, it would have been a little bit better and faster, but solid pass. Look, freaking uh, awesome. We might hang around later tonight, hook bull, Brutus to the pulling truck. <laughs> Can't even talk. Hook Brutus to the sled tonight. We don't know yet, but solid pass. Let's watch all of our friends from Minnesota watch their uh, trucks down the track right here, and uh, hey, we'll be pulling Brutus soon. Here at the fair, picking up the truck. We brought our buddy with us. He's on doing some teacups this morning. Well, he's ever been on a fair ride ever. About to find out real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so last night we went out and uh, took our boys from Minnesota to the Dallas Bowl, had some fun. We had to leave our trucks here and had to Uber around, but hey, we're back getting everything picked up. <laughs> we're gonna go to the truck in just a second and uh, get it chained down. We're gonna head back to the shop. Unfortunate scene of us getting stuck, and now the wheels and tires are all dirty on the old, the old truck right here. Uh, we got unstuck, had to get pulled out. That thing was a little bit softer than I thought. But that was the first time we got to use a tow hook on the front of the truck. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, it lasts for a while. But overall, super successful weekend with business expense. We got a few things we got to fix on it. Fan the uh, <laughs> fan solenoid, the fan clutch and solenoid. Uh, a few other things. You get all the headlights, everything hooked up and working because. Next time we do a video of this thing, I think we're going to be driving it down the road. So comment down below. Do you want to see us make this thing street legal? And what do you call that, Ryan? A finished project? A finished project. What? <laughs> and it worked. 
So pretty successful weekend all together. We'll get this thing unloaded tomorrow. Next video is coming out this week is all Scania. Everybody's been wanting some Scania videos. We're trying to roll out a project every week and get caught up and then maybe we'll introduce some new stuff to the channel in a month or so. But Scania next week, the week after that, we've got another big week full of some really cool videos and it's blue collar moving into the end of November, beginning of December, getting that thing in tip top shape and ready for the people that are who we never know. Ready for the person that may take it home. So don't forget to get in there, guys. Go to brucewilsonshop.com. Grab your new hats. Make Trucking Great Again hats are on the website. Freaking love them. And uh, get in to win a blue-collar cab over 5000 bucks in cash. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below. And uh, smash that like button. We'll see you later. Peace.